Visit our top story tonight. We just got some new information. It's about that Greensboro woman caught on camera dumping a soda on a child. We told you her case went to trial today and within the last 20 minutes she was found guilty. Kim Jennings faced assault charges. The apartment manager has said the incident stemmed from previous issues with the kids and she says she regrets what happened. Debbie from Wide News 2's Amber Lake is live after they all took the stand today. Guys, this was an hours long trial today. Kim Jennings was accused last summer of assaulting two children at an apartment complex in Greensboro. You probably remember that video that went viral on social media media showing the alleged attack. Now today, a judge ruled that Jennings was guilty of both of those charges. The trial happened today for that Greensboro apartment manager accused of hitting the two children ages 8 and 11 at the complex's pool last summer. 62 year old Kimberly Jennings was found guilty of two counts of simple assault on a child under the age of 12. If you remember, this happened last August on the 3rd at Sedgefield Garden Apartments pool. Police said Jennings hit two children who did not live at the apartment complex. Video of the ordeal surfaced online and sparked outrage among neighbors. In it, Jen Jennings is seen splashing a drink onto the 11 year old and the judge allowed for the video to be played during trial today. There was a conversation back and forth between the state and the defense whether the video itself was going to be played, but the judge did rule that the video would be played today. The family now does not live at the apartment complex, but both children did testify today saying that they had friends that lived in the apartment complex, and that's why they were going back and forth from the pool to their home. Now, this again was an hours long trial today. Both children did take the stand as well as Jennings, and they went back and forth on what they thought the situation was, and they thought what had happened. Now, the judge did rule later on this evening, saying that the only person that he believed that testified today was the young girl that was involved in this incident. He did rule that Jennings would be found guilty of both of these charges, and there was there was a little bit of chaos after the ruling today. A lot of people in the crowd were very vocal about their opinions on this case, but I wasn't I was able to speak with the mother of the two children as well as the attorney of Miss Jennings and I should be in contact with them in due time just to kind of get more information on where their heads at following this ruling today live in Greensboro Amber Lake WFMY News 2.